Regardless of what position you accept, what group you choose to be a part of, people seek those of like mind. And this becomes indoctrination. And this is the trap that's set for everyone. Hello, today is October 26th, 2020. The time is 1.01 p.m. This video is inspired by a conversation that I recently had with someone. And I've seen this uh, topic come up, you know, over the months, over the past few years. And it ties in with the cycles of civilization. And to reiterate, because it's going to tie in here, we are in the late stage of the last stage of civilization, the age of decadence, and we repeat history because history is forgotten either by chance or design. And this can be greatly expanded on. However, I want to highlight something here to tie into what the topic of this video is going to be about. One of the things that we note throughout ancient history and even to modern history are the intellectual types being as a descriptive um, erased or even executed as a more graphic descriptive when a civilization or a society has been conquered or when they fall and the, the biggest reason for that and they will say it's because they're a threat to free thinking and all this other nonsense but, for example, what is learned and what is known, say, throughout history, is these are the types that rise in the late stage of the last stage of civilization and are a great contributing factor to the fall of civilizations. And yes, these people will argue to no end and people who support these people will argue to no end no it's not true but it is very true and this is why when say for example a civilization or a society or whatever tribe is being conquered these are the people that are taken out first because they are the cause they're the reason why this civilization or society has been conquered because it became weak and this ties into philosophy and philosophy complicates the uncomplicated and I've always said do not complicate the uncomplicated now with this foundation set uh, during a recent this recent conversation I had with someone they had mentioned something called the monk debates and one of the apparently one of the topics that was discussed with these intellectual types is erasing history as a reset so we can start all over with a fresh clean slate and that apparently I guess the argument was that's the only way to start all over again properly now again this this complicates the uncomplicated and there's an assumption being made that history or what was done or the people in history are the problems or the cause of the problems of today no today is the cause of today's problems and again part of it is this little cycle this little loop that we need to erase history and tear down statues and burn books and rewrite history and and then we start getting into regardless of what group you belong to, these groups trying to promote their own self agendas or whatever. And this is the problem. This is not a reflection of history. These, what we're experiencing today has nothing to do with history. And we know this for a fact that it's not history's fault. It's not the people in history's fault. And this doesn't state or imply that you know, some mistakes have been made throughout history, but to erase that means we don't learn from that. There's no reminder. But overall, history and the people in history succeeded. And how do we know this? We know this because we have reached this late stage of the last age of civilization, the age of decadence. 
It's through history and the people in history's efforts that brought us here. And today, there's an extreme luxury with this age of decadence that looking back saying, oh, well, we're better than them. And I did, uh, I think it was a four or five part series called The Cycles of Civilization. It's a story, there's, there's stories that I wrote and read and it talks about uh, about the cycles of civilization but through the perspective of uh, one of them would be from the people from the days of old and it just it, it's it's fictional but it's based on truth reality how things were back then in the last segment of that little series talks about the future generations and obviously the future generations are haven't they're not here so so it's, it's it's all fictional but it's from these different perspectives so if we're erasing history with the claim of well that's the only way that we can rebuild civilization no because it's like reinventing the wheel and starting all over again and to erase it means we're just going to be making the same mistakes having to go through the same growing pains as previous civilizations and this is a big problem now i'm putting aside obviously other woo, -woo things or anything else that are part of our world that uh, may or may not uh, i'm trying to be impartial here influences on all this stuff but let's, I'm just simply focusing on, for example, the earthly perspective, the human perspective. So, yes, the assumption is we have to erase history because the people in history and the things done in history are the problem. No. They brought us here to the point where, in the, in giving the luxury, to say, well, let's blame them. Whereas it's the people of today, the actions of today, that have caused complete chaos and of course there's other elements in play here uh, with agendas from as some would call the elite the ruling class and everything else and a lot of people rant on about how they the majority of the population are being treated like cattle and how the elite want to erase destroy wipe out the majority of the population and I've said many times what has the majority of the population done to prove that they have more value than being treated as cattle or being wiped out the, who they blame for as a descriptive the elites they have a plan they smart enough to make a plan they have dedicated generations to executing their plan and they, they've been successful with whatever they set out to do. Whereas the majority of the population have simply allowed it. So whatever is taking place now, it's not the people or, the, or what was done in history that's the problem, nor can blame be totally on who they deem as their oppressors, the ruling class, the leader, whatever. It's themselves, they've allowed it. And the big question is why or how is this possible? And that's very telling. So that's really I, what I wanted to talk about uh, with regards to this cancel culture that we live in and the luxuries that we have today with regards to that. And if you don't like it, then, well, we're beyond the point of no return to fix anything. And the other question that arises from that is, at this particular stage, what is really of that great value that people say, well, there's something, you know, the way things are now is worth salvaging. And yet they're complaining about it. What people are really afraid of is when, the, as a descriptive, a collapse happens. What people are afraid of is the time before a new equilibrium is established. And equilibriums are always reestablished after each great fall and a rebuild. But what makes this civilization more unique than, or very unique, 
than uh, previous ones is this is a worldwide civilization and I've mentioned before there's nowhere else to go this when this civilization collapses it's going to be major and yes there's going to be a time of chaos but not like what's presented with the propaganda and movies and philosophy and all this other stuff it's not going to be like that and how do we know what human nature is really like again it has to do with history because history we see even in modern history and today when there's tragic events and stuff people will band together and build and create something that's really human nature and I'm not getting into this I'm not trying to sound like a, a love and lighter and all this other stuff no I'm just simply stating this is what the evidence shows so before any of these social justice movements or people or intellectuals start supporting the idea of we have to erase everything so we can start over fresh that's that's just nonsense anyway things to think about thank you for watching please like subscribe comment and share